Okay. Good evening, everybody. This is the uh, September meeting for the Conservation Advisory Council. Uh, call it to order. Uh, first thing on the agenda is to review the minutes of the meeting from August. Uh, anybody have any objections or no? Make a motion to accept them. Yeah, everybody. Ready? Terrific. Okay, now we get to the meat of the night. Uh, first one I have listed here is 8 Margaret's Drive, Lumley. Okay, let's take a look at that. And I'll read what I have just to get an idea. And then anything you want to add from looking at it or question what I'm going to say is it? Okay. Uh, the first, Matt, are you here? Oh, yeah, Matt's here. Matt, you want to give a quick summary on that one? Yeah, hey, how are y'all doing tonight? Um, this is uh, this is over on Margaret's Drive on the uh, creek side, Margaret's Drive, so um, north side of the road. Um, existing single family house with a uh, uh, one and a half or two story uh, detached garage, looking to do renovations on it. Um, a little bit of a uh, uh, an addition to the building. Um, it's all over top of existing construction, whether it's the existing house or existing deck, things of that effect. Um, it's going to require or, or uh, um, going to include a new IA septic system, which is um, on the what's it on the east side of the house. So outside of the hundred foot setback from both the tidal wetlands of West Neck Creek. And there's also a freshwater wetlands to the east side of the property. So the uh, the new septic is um, outside of the 100 foot setback on both of those. Um, basically, they're just trying to modernize and update the building and try and keep it within reason within the same the same envelope, same footprint as the existing building. OK, hmm. that's what it is. Uh, I had some items on it, Matt. Uh, First one was uh, there's no house number on the site, so I mean we we can find it, but you know it should have a house number when we're going down and look at things. Uh, the other one is that the vegetation and stormwater plan dated seven three twenty four indicates elements that no longer exist as of 9-9 when I was there, 24. Mm -hmm. Please update and indicate wetlands approval for removal of the shed, uh, and installation of the wire fence, uh, so that we have an up-to-date site plan here. And I noticed that you, you did it and uh, you had it checked. So I was kind of surprised when I got there that these items were not any longer there. The bocce ball court's been removed. Uh, the shed, the fence around by the shed that's indicated on the site plan. And also that's not in the wetlands is the staircase to the garage is, is removed. So okay, I'll take a look at that. Yeah, I didn't see that those the last time I was on site, I did not see that those were removed. So I'll look at that and I'll, I'll confirm what is and what isn't there. Yeah, because you know, Nothing should be done in the wetlands. Yep, no, absolutely. Not a permit, so. Um, also, there's a wire fence that's been across the property, and in order to get to the creek, you have to climb up the uh, cellar entrance, which is kind of dangerous for us people to do, you know, because they put a fence across, there's no entrance, there's no gate to open or anything like that. So. That should be, well, we've been there, so we make it through, but it, property should be available to us to easily do it without climbing up a cellar doors, bilco doors to get over. So appreciate if you just, it, uh, other properties that, you know, you probably don't even know that that fence is there, but <laughs> it's there. Okay, okay, so that's that idea. Uh, the third item I have is uh, there's a new fence in the vegetative buffer, which well, that's the one I was just talking about. It was right across the back. It's 
blocks the owl from going to the, the access to the vegetative buffer. And we also don't want any expansion in the vegetative buffer is permitted. So we have to take yeah. care of some of that. So, uh, so I don't know if anybody else had- Everything else looks great. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great idea owl. with the, with the IA system and yeah. pressurized, which is excellent because that really cuts down the nitrate. So that's a plus for the project. Yeah, we if, if I've ever got the 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 square footage in order to put in one of those pressurized shallow drain fields, I really try to push for them because especially on a site like this, because it is so much better at uh, at removing some of those things. Um, and, and you know, it serves the double purpose of allowing you know uh, uh, irrigation for the lawn area above it. So it's kind of a, you know, multi-pronged benefit to the property. Yeah, it's, it's sort of, every time you flush, you're irrigating a little, so yep. it's good. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> okay, um, but I would recommend, and this might notice this, and you're gonna, that we deny this uh, permit as it is. I mean, until the items get fixed, the paperwork gets fixed and they, so that we have a clear copy of what we're really looking at. But I mean, there's really not that much they changed on this though, right? No. If the shed's gone, is that, that's out of the 100 foot, isn't it? No. Well, it's in the 75, but it's in the, it's in the oh, 25 it's just, yeah, extension. Just in the 75. Okay. That's in that, so that's one thing. Uh, I also think that this, and I, I wasn't sure because the ground is over, the concrete pad going to the back of the garage I don't, I don't think it's a new one. It just looks like pavers there. So that's uh, yeah, that's like fifteen feet away from the hundred foot anyway. Yeah, but the bocce ball court is in both of them, the vegetative buffer and an adjacent vegetative buffer. Now I don't know what the bocce, the ones I'm familiar with, it doesn't make that much of a difference. The sideboards and an end board, yeah, you know. Yeah. But we're not supposed to work in the wetlands without a permit. Right. So that's why I'm bringing it. And that's the only reason I'm saying that we should deny it. And if you agree or not, take a, a vote on that. Well, I don't know. I mean, well, you can. I mean, other than the fact that he probably didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> I mean, he thought he was probably doing a good thing. Yeah, I can see a lot of there. building something. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Removing it, I don't think you it don't, makes. Yeah, I don't think it's worth shutting it down for that. So. Well, I'm not saying to shut it down. Uh, denying it, it goes to the town board, and I think they, you know. But right. as far as I'm concerned, I'm very adamant about paperwork being correct. This is a, uh, uh, it's this paper that's going into the files as a. All right. So I don't care. Whatever you want to vote, but I I say I deny it. Everybody else. Everybody else approves? Yeah. Okay, so let's put that. HJ disapproval. All right, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lumley is the architect. Yeah, he's the um, the contractor. Uh, Jared London is the architect yeah, on that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. I just have that thing here. Let me do it. Okay, the next one is on at 70 Tuttle Drive. And another one of yours. Yep, right? yep this is another one. Unusual. <laughs> good, okay, so good. a little briefing on it, please, I appreciate it. Yep, real quick one. It's, um, this is probably one of the smallest developed properties on the island. Um, it's uh, uh, 50 feet wide, um, and what's the length on this bad boy? Like 145 feet long, 140 feet long. Um, it's got the uh, existing three-bedroom single-family dwelling on it. 
It was recently approved by the Zoning Board of Appeals. So the, the plan that's in front of the town board right now is the same as what was approved by the ZBA. Um, this is one where the, um, the septic, the existing cesspool is less than 10 feet off of the bulkhead or seawall, which is the wetlands boundary on this property. So that cesspool is less than 10 feet from the wetlands. Um, we got an approval, had to get a variance from the health department to put in a new septic. Uh, this one also has a pressurized shallow drain field. Uh, so an IA unit with a PSD, the expansion pool, the expansion uh, area for that PSD is uh, just under 34 feet from the wetlands boundary. So still way too close from what we would like to have. Uh, but unfortunately, there's just nowhere else on the property to put it. Um, so we're making it significantly better with respect to the septic, but we're still not making it as well as it, as, as good as we would like it to be. Um, the uh, supply well is up in that north uh, northwest corner of the property. Um, we've replaced the existing well, which was in basically the same location, but it was just on the other side of the property line. So it was on the Tuttle Drive Association property that owns Tuttle Drive. So we put that well over. That helped us get the health department approval. Uh, the DEC gave us a letter of non-jurisdiction on this property because of the seawall. Um, we're still going to be at a three-bedroom dwelling when the day is done. The uh, footprint remains the same for the building itself. There is a uh, waterfront stair. that There is one there now, but the new one's going to be significantly larger. It's going from, I don't have the number of the existing waterfront stair, but I think it's like 30... 20 something square feet. The new one's gonna be about about 208 square feet uh, coming off the uh, water side of the proper, of the building. Um, gonna be a basement entrance on the right-hand side of the building, which uh, with stairs going down to the basement. Um, and then on the road side of the building, and all of this is within the 100 foot of the uh, wetlands boundary. Um, on the road side of the building, there's gonna be a small two foot landing for the front door which currently is where the chimney is located, that chimney is going to be going away and that same footprint of that area is going to become that, uh, that two foot landing. Um, there's a couple other little minor things that are going on. There's an outdoor shower on the Northwest side of the building that's going away and it's going to be replaced by an outdoor shower. That's uh, just over 75 feet from the wetlands boundary on the East side of the building. Um, there's no stormwater control now, so we're going to be putting stormwater drainage in. We've got an eight foot diameter, eight foot deep dry well going in between the house and the road. Um, that one almost gets completely out of the regulated area. Um, trying to think of what else is appreciable on this site. Um, in order to get outdoor living space, they put a roof deck on. So the, uh, um, you know, so not having a, a deck in the yard itself is, uh, you know, they can't really do one because of the septic. They can't do one because of the distance to the wetlands. So the architect designed it so they've got a roof deck and they can take advantage of the uh, the views of that site by being up on the roof rather than being out in the yard. Um, I think that, that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of the project. I don't know if there's any other questions you've got or if there's anything that you see as inconsistencies between what you saw on the site and what we've got on the plan, just let me know and we can see what we can take care of. Okay. Good. Yeah, Matt, who, who owns the property on either side? Is that a, like a right of ways or? Uh, no, the, the one on the west side, I believe, <clears throat> excuse me, is Dave Basile, who owns, there's like a small strip to the west of 70 Tuttle. Dave has that one. Then he also has his house, which is further, the next lot further to the west. The okay. lot to the right on the east side is owned by the woman across the street. I can't remember her name, Lisa, something or another. I can't remember her last name, but she basically uses it as an access way to the uh, access to the water. Um, right. So those are both uh, both privately owned by, you know, by adjacent property owners or nearby property owners. Right. right. This entire house is being demolished, correct? Yeah. Yep. Right down to the dirt. Yep. So every every last bit of it is going away. So once that comes down septic system can go in yeah that has to go first and you got to work your way backwards because you right. can't get in the backyard right exactly yep, absolutely <laughs> yeah. it's, a tight, okay. it's a tight property yeah, and, all, and all the dirt has to come out and all the dirt has to go back you know it's like what, it's back. Be a, just on the way. 
put it all in there too. <laughs> Time can No, you can't. You have to it's take a, the truck it out and then you got to bring it back. Yeah. 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 Room. It's a tough one. I have my notes that I did and I'll read them first and then. Um, uh, the vegetation plan and the C11, which is Matt's plan, should be revised indicating walkway to be removed from the new IA septic system and relocated to walk around. I don't think you want them walking on the pavers of, across the, uh, the existing one does. And, mm -hmm. and uh, it's right across the uh, IA system there. So I. Right. Yeah, you can do that. There's, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Yeah, it's some way to come around. It's just like a gravel path, or is it? Well, no, pavements they're putting in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll take, there's not yeah. any real way. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, okay, so just don't want to drive over it with a truck or something, that's all. So you got to leave that paper, you think we should? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know. I just, uh, okay. Good thing we have the experts here. <laughs> Okay, so we can cross that one off. The second item I have is uh, the, the ones that Matt mentioned, the proposed basement access stairway is in the wetlands, the adjacent regulated wetlands and the shower going in. Uh, and so you have to dig that out, excavate in, in the adjacent regulated area. Right. And, uh, I don't, I, 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 I wouldn't allow that to happen, but you look at the plan. If he's going to have a basement, I don't know how to, oh, the basement now, you go through the house and come down. So, I mean, it makes sense to put a, a right. an exit from it. Well, you probably need a legal. I think you have to have a legal but yeah, exit. You got to have a legal, yeah. It should yeah. have two, I think, but I don't know if it's required, but anyway. Matt, do you know if it's required to have two accesses from the basement? I can't hear you. Can we mute it? Sorry about that. Um, yeah. yeah, if you're, if you're going to have habitable living space in the basement, then yes, you've got to have an emergency egress um, that a fireman or somebody like that could get down, and then you also have just a, a regular egress. <clears throat> so this design does not have living space in the basement. They've got some, um, I think they've got their laundry let me pull up the site plan and the floor plan. Um, I think the laundry's in the basement and what else? I guess the boiler is in there. Yeah, there's some mechanical stuff. There's also mechanical stuff up in the uh, um, attic. Um, yes, but there's not gonna be like bedrooms or anything like that down there. So, um, you know, having the access into the basement um, from the inside of the building is adequate. You do want to have a secondary access into the basement if you can. Um, the reason why we put that on the side was just for that purpose, um, was to have that secondary access into the basement. But it's not a code requirement to to answer your question. Um, right. it's, a, it's it's a require it's it's a uh, um, uh, an ease of accent or access or a convenience requirement. I guess is the best way to word it. I don't want to make it sound like it's require it's it's code no. required because it's not. It's certainly yeah. more convenient. Yeah, well, if you had to get yeah. a hot water heater or furnace awesome. or something yeah. in and out through the house. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that uh, sounds too. So at least that's it. Uh, the other thing was the shower, which is just, that's nothing on the outside. That's okay. Okay, so I'll take that one out. Okay. The only thing I have is the proposed large enlarged outdoor staircase, which is the one that is indicated as 200 square, eight square feet. And right now it's just a narrow staircase coming down. Right. So I don't think we should expand to that because I don't know how they're going to build it, but they're, they're in the, they're in 75 and stuff. And so I think they are. Yeah. The oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that staircase is 60 feet from the wetlands from that bulkhead. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I would like not to do that in there because the construction of it, I, I'm, it's got to be quite substantial to hold up. So uh, we don't allow that in the old 
shouldn't allow it. Not to, we advise it not to be put in the wetlands, so they were adjacent buffaloes. So the only thing I have is that one, and I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't deny the whole thing if once the plan is adjusted or is accepted that the staircase is not there, I was thinking we should just let it. I mean, they could probably pull it back into the wall and put a little retaining wall to either side of the stairs and go down. Yeah. Putting them out into the... I think they would rather... Well, I, I don't know, Matt probably knows it, but, you know, it's much nicer to have a big staircase going down. Out of no, I know what I'm saying, but they could set it back into the actual wall instead of have it go out in front of the wall. Oh, well, I don't know. It's kind of... The plan shows that, you know, that that's the problem. But I think we'll just keep that in as being one of the problems, and we would, would not allow that. Uh, not permitted and let them come back with a revised architectural plan or something so it's what it is all right well this thing is what it is you know yeah, <laughs> it's what it is it, you know it's a, not a new house and it survived a long time with just you know a six foot wide staircase going back right well you want to vote on it or yes we had to vote on every one so, the both to a, I, I say, uh, make a motion. We have a vote to approve the plan without the um, enlarged proposed staircase in the back. And so, uh, uh, I say, I, I vote to deny that portion of the. Well, yeah, or I say approve, yeah, approve the plan. Approve the plan. Four zero. Uh, approve with revision to uh, the proposed enlarged staircase. How many years is this going on, Matt? I don't even remember when we started this one. Um, uh, geez, uh, it's be five or six. Yeah, I think so, because we, we had a COVID interruption and then we had a change in architect interruption a couple of times. Um, we had a ZBA approval that we had to go back and get another ZBA approval on. And then between the health, those in the health department variances, this thing's been going on for, for, for quite some time. Right. Okay. But thank you for, uh, thank you for reviewing it. We appreciate it. Yeah. So what I finally put on here is approved with the removal of the standard staircase. Yeah. Recommended review. Recommended, yeah. Good. Very good. Bless you. Thank you. Okay, the last one we have for tonight is 169 Grand Island Drive. Now we've we've seen this one a couple of times. Uh, and we advised to move the building back, but they've just gone ahead and built a new structure there. Right. And it, the entire bulkhead is gone. This is what, uh, right? Gone. No, not, this is really what Costello, Jack Costello will be eating mm -hmm. it. So uh, it's a shame that. I mean, to me, it's like putting the cart before the horse. The first thing I would do is build that bulkhead so nothing would happen because he, he, I mean, it's a danger to walk back there. to could fall down in that, so the cliff could give away. And that's, right? So, uh, just go over my items again, and then you can vote on it. So, okay. So this one, I have, this is the third submission review. First one we did was May 8th, 2023. Right. The second was August 14th, 2023. And now September 17th, 2024. So we've been through this a couple of times with it. Uh, I forget what the decision of the planning board, this was on the thing. But the, so we've seen this property and it's just getting worse. The bulkhead, it's just collapsed. It's, and I was glad I was with Jack Costello there because he, 
give you some information on pole kids, you know, and stuff, right? right? Because one of the things I have a question about is why was all these years still using CCA tenders for pole kids and stuff? And, you know, and he said, well, you, it's the best we have right now, which is probably true because, you know, you can't get everything from the Amazon and right? take their trees. Yeah. Not even supposed to take their people across the board, you know? not destroy their land down there, you know, so, right? So that was one of the things I asked him, and he said, you know, that's the most efficient that they work with. And it's concerning because uh, CCA is toxic to animals there, and, it, and this is a lot of CCA put on it. It's cross struts and, uh, in the bulkhead construction. Mm. And, uh, so at least I got a reason why uh, I don't really agree with that. I mean, we're sending people to the moon. We could do something, you know. But anyway, mm -hmm. it's one thing that I asked him about, and I think for now we just have to accept that as being approved type of okay construction. Well, that's why I want this to be referred to the Waterways Management Committee for for bulkheads. And, and uh, the plan, they want to put a beach down there, open up the beach, the town waters would come into their property. I don't, I don't know what, I don't, what is that whole thing is. It is legitimized. So it's a, it's a I, I don't know, it's just something we, we could take into uh, account. Mm. And uh, well, that house has been derelict for a long, long time. I mean, nobody's done anything with it. Yeah, so the town had to fence around they it. They should have maintained it. Yeah, but it didn't. nobody was there. So yeah, there's nobody to pay for anything. So I think they're just losing more property and everybody's yeah. washing into them. Yeah, but we've yeah. had that construct. They built a whole new house. Right. I mean, there's somebody on watching this site. Oh, yeah, but they no, can't, they can't do the bulkhead until they get the permit. They can't do the bulkhead until they get the permit. So I think they need to put that in so yeah. it doesn't continue to. Wash into the yeah. That's the, why I said they're putting the cart before the horse. First, fix up yeah. the bulkhead, mm -hmm. and then do the building. Yeah. But they decided to do it, even though we brought all these items up in the two previous meetings. You know, right. we went back. So, just saying that you know, it's not the. I mean, Jack gave good reasons for it. You know, he wants to get it built and protect the yeah, the yeah. property. May not make it through the winter. No. And uh, Walter, the supervisor for the building construction, he was very helpful, you know, just saying what they were doing. I mean, they're not making the judgment on this project, you know, right, right. contract or so. Yeah. Okay. And so the second item I have, I listed that and I said the advice given in the first and second and two reviews are still applicable now. Move the house back. But that's, that's not going to happen. That's probably not going to happen. I mean, you should. I, I looked at some of the construction. It's some big, solid, it's all the thing, yeah. But that's that big, big answer to that. Yeah. Okay. Now, the movement of the mean high water line comes closer to the construction of the new house and site improvements. Uh, makes the previous comments more appropriate, right? Because it, 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 the, the new high mean water line is like 20, 30 feet closer to the house now than it was. Than it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, uh, you know, we just make the advice. So, uh, when, uh, like I said, this should be referred to the Waterways Management Committee because they know more about the bulkhead instructions and, and the town waters there, is that going to be affected? The guy wants to, they want to put their, a boat ramp so they can get a boat down in there, which is interesting. Yeah, I think it's being more affected now, though, that there's no bulkhead because everything's just. It's down at that level, but the beach is there. Yeah. But mm -hmm. how long will that beach last at that point there? You know, it's, oh. that's an erosion point. Yeah. And, you know, never establish uh, any uh, wetland at that point, so. Anyway, that's the four things that I had. Uh, I don't know if you people 
think about it, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I just think they better get going on it because otherwise, <laughs> yeah, they're going to lose everything. Yeah, I think we we deserve a response to this. Yeah, why, why it went ahead last night? Well, it's just what they did. I know. And why? You know, right or wrong? You know, I don't know. I mean, we advised them twice, right, to move it back. I mean, they had plenty of property. Yeah. Anyway, but everything's where it is. So, well, that's correct. The, the plunge pool hasn't been built yet, you know. Right. So maybe to take that out, they had the big pool down on the property. That's in already. No, no. I, yeah, come but on. I mean that's that, that's out of the wetlands. Right. Right. This is in the wetlands. Yeah. So, I want to see what you people want to do. I personally would deny the permit until the responses we get back on those comments that we've had on two other meetings. Now, third meeting on this, so I never got any response. Now the town is going to be, I think, I think it's coming up this week or something. The uh, the hearing on it. So it is okay. And I'm not going to be able to make all these hearings. So. I don't know, but that uh, next board meeting. Next board meeting, right? Next, next week, yeah. At least we have Albert here to. Next Monday's meeting, the town board meeting. That works. Yeah. We didn't have the hearing yet. Yeah, okay. So it's something that we should have. So I personally vote that we deny this until these items are responded to and uh, take a vote on that. Well, I, I mean, I, I think they should just go ahead just because it's the, the point where they've got to do something. Yeah, the longer it takes. Yeah, I mean, if it's another month or two, it could be in the winter and they could be losing half of it. I was already, I was talking to Jack too. I said, how are you going to do this with barges coming up? He said, no, over the land. Over the land, yeah. Now, he's restricted because of the house. Right. Now, he's coming up with yes, tons and tons of rocks. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just going to make life harder if we don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think we should approve it and and just, you know, because Jack is a reputable guy. He's going to do the right thing. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think it's going to go anywhere when he gets done. And if it does, he's got to put it back. So, you know, yeah. it's just, uh, I think the laying it anymore is just going to put, uh, you know, a real burden on everybody. Hurt the whole property. Yeah, hurt the whole property. Whoever did, yeah. whoever did it wash it. The island. I mean, it hurt the neighbor, too, you know, the right. The neighbors, the, the island, you know, we know that we're, Sinking, we're losing land all the time, right? You know, because of the high water and the subsidence of the land properties all along the coast. And uh, well, we'll see in the next high storm, they won't be able to get there anyway, except with the ferry, you know. Yeah. So, get a high enough one. Causeway is going, you know. That's uh, well, it's been, I tell you, I don't think it's breached except for down right by the corner, right in the corner there. Right? And, that, and you know, where it goes, you want to drive through that. No, 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 but the rest of it's seen pretty good. Yeah, yeah it takes yeah. a hell of a storm to get over that. Right. So, so, it's like Bridge Street. I mean, now that's a town road and that floods all the time, right? What are you going to do there? Yeah, that's kind of where our town is now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then, then we always saw they have on the uh, mm. Well, that section over there by uh, Westmoreland had that floods all the yeah yeah it, it's a it's a sad commentary but anyway so uh, I think we approve with after with the comments that we made yeah okay response to our comments okay okay yeah Let's take a vote on that I say I. We would improve. Approve it. Approve it. Approve it. Get going. Yep. Yeah. All right. What is zero approval? Zero. It's a response to comments. Okay, takes care of that. Now, Albert, anything to help us with son, for the town? You know our problems that, you know, manpower, we need a seventh person and stuff like that. Yeah. So, 
I, mean, I, I, I know they've advertised stand on it. I, I doubt it. Doing too well on it. So. It's on the read about it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. The town hired a per diem environmental planner. Oh, good. <laughs> per diem. Right, right. Which is. See how it works out. See how he comes up with some. Uh, who, did who, did they, who, did they, who did they hire? Um, her name is uh, Teresa Mason. She works in Southampton. Okay. Full time job. You know, so she's. Yeah, give us some time here. Yeah, a little moonlighting here. Let's see. Yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, because we have some serious problems, like I just mentioned, the flooding during high storm areas, and we have the uh, dredging going going to happen by the yacht club. And when you dredge, you remove, and it comes back in. You know, it comes off the land again. You know, that's that. But uh, and I just to let everybody know the dredging is going ahead in the. Uh, West Neck Creek area there. Right, right. And uh, I think they've finished with the Dickinson Creek yeah. dredging. Oh, you would know better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. You know, one thing I was wondering, yeah. you know, that the stuff in, in Manana Creek, you know, it's all that silty, muddy garbage, you know? Yes. And they don't want to pile it up. What if they dug a hole in Shell Beach, you know, and put that stuff in, let it dry up, and then cover it with sand from the other dredgings? I mean... Yeah. You know, because, I mean, I would think that, is there anybody approached the DUC with that? Just because. I don't know. I yeah. can't answer that matter. I know finally they're in there dredging. Right. <laughs> which has been requested for years. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're going a little bit. They're going to go up to maybe Bob Freeze's house. But the trouble is the whole inside of the creek is just dead. Yeah, it's really shallow there. Now. Yeah, and it, it just, that stuff, you know, if you did pump it out and let it dry out, it would harden up and then you could just bury it with sand. You know, I mean, that would be one way of, because you can't put it anywhere really. Other than yeah, that. you got you know, it's not going to like a catch basin now. And yeah, well, well, you just build like a big yeah. firm of sand around yeah. it, and let it dry up for a month, and then yeah. take what you put on the sides over the top, and then you know. Um, speaking of dredging, um, you know, I live over in Hay Beach, and that that really needs to be it needs to be done again. Yeah, yeah. It really does it hasn't been done for quite some time. And it's, right. So I don't know who you talked to about it, but that's it's how. Okay. Say, you know, that needs to be done. They usually do it every year, but it's been a while. Yeah. I don't the plumber. Yeah, they do it now. They have their own machine now and everything. So okay. they don't like putting in the salt water, but, um, you know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't blame them on that. Maybe there's something out that you can get around. Can. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying, it. hey, hey, Beach. I don't, I don't need to do that. I'm sure the homeowners up there. Yeah, they've been. In the industry, they'll, they'll be. They'll take care of the the uh, conveyance. Yeah. Sure. What are you yeah. saying? Yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying the homeowners will take care of it. You're a homeowner. You, they, have a, you have a homeowners association. Yeah, yeah. But tell them to. All right. Okay. Okay. I can do that, but it's been something that's been done every year, and then now it hasn't been done. So done why? The highway. Why not? Yeah, the highway. Yeah. Now that Ken's there, Ken yeah. yeah, they'll probably do it this winter. I don't know. It's been a while. It's really been. Yeah. I go down almost every day, and I've seen. Used to, I'm trying to think. I think we used to do it yeah. now. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of restrictions in the Yeah. The birds. Yeah. The birds and everything. Yeah. Do it. So it's like a. a it's not a something you do. You had to do it by March or something or April. I forget what it was. So you had to do it now between now and April. It's the only time you have. So they used to do it every year regularly, it was right? It? And yes, they skipped a couple of years now. So yeah. Well, one of the things with, you know, the dredging that's going on right now, the, we had brought up on our uh, nature preserve comments that, you know, the, there's only that thin road going on Shell Beach. Oh, yeah. And even if you pile it up there now, which they're doing, how long is that going to last? Five years? Yeah, they need to put some, you know, groins or something. Little groins to hold it, you know, or something. That has another problem. That's what I like about the ones, if you could move them around, like with mafia blocks, you catch it. And then you, when the wind changes from northwest to south, you know, southwest, then you can put them back and catch from the summer and catch the winter and keep building it back up that way, you know. But that's a, that's a big job. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I have a highway to pump. Maybe they would, but it's still. Yeah, you never, you know, it's worth trying. Yeah. Well, there's nothing left to it. We'll either that or let it wash right through. Well, make it a, make a new channel. 
Yeah, I have another channel. So they're working in now, the dredging, so, you know, and uh, Ken, I guess the town usually talks to Ken Lewis about all these. They, they're the ones that usually take care of uh, our comments on the preserve, the nature preserve property. So might just call up and ask them this one so we get something on that. Thank you. Because it's going to be, and it's, you know, it's like some of the properties that we've done. The roads that are in the, uh, I talked to Ken a little bit about it. You know, they, they paved the roads, like the one down on one go drive there, down there, that was all on landfill anyway. Right. And the road, I don't know if you'll be able to repave it with the, with the MS4 requirements for paving. You'd have to have a permeable surface, you know. Right. And to try to get, you know, these people are putting in pools down there to get that pool truck down there with the water. Yeah. You know? But that's, yeah, it just can bring up some items. That's all. That's it. Okay. The next thing that we have, and I really haven't done anything on this, the site plan reviews. Uh, Perlman, I was down there with uh, a whole bunch of people from the town the other day. Uh, and our job is really, it's just the, uh, Section of the code, which is, what was that? I think it's 150 or 109, which 109 site plan review. I just would like people to look at that because the, the naturally it's a site and the paper is the size of this table. Right. So, and I have a whole set of that. And, I, uh, and basically, what we want to do is make sure that any noisy buildings, maintenance buildings are shielded by vegetation. Right. And then the unsightly work. And, you know, you can see Perlman is, is, is very good at taking care of that property. It's beautiful. You're still going to have the same 40 or 50 people there? Yeah. That's it. going to expand it. They're just taking the buildings, moving some, maybe they'll expand a little bit, but not really just the summer program. Right. And, uh, expand the buildings and, Make them a little bit better. That's so all. Turn them so. Right. Oh, same, same program. Mm -hmm. I don't think she called it. Uh, Anna Kaplan is the one that I talked to down there, and she said that the, it was going to stay the same. And basically, it's not considered a real school. It's like a demonstration type of area, teaching, but not a school. Oh. It's a school. All right. It have different restrictions, so. But that's one site plan. Now tomorrow I have a meeting for the library site plan review. Okay. Again, that's a big sheet. Uh, but uh, if anybody wants to see it, I have both the plans. I have the one plan here for Perlman, which is gigantic, and if anybody wants to see it, I can meet with them and look at it, what I want to do. We'll see tomorrow at nine o'clock. I'm having a meeting with the town. So when's the library going to actually get going? Well, they cut the trees. No, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> they threw everybody out of the library. I don't see any hammers and nails going. <laughs> well, that's what, you know, they've got to find out tomorrow. But I'm sure they're working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working over things. You know, I, I took a quick look. I was looking for the septic system. But then I ate. Yeah, it's going to be under the under the driveway, I guess. No, where it is now, it's between the building and the road. So. Right, right. Yeah, well, it's going to be at the final driveway going between there. That's mm -hmm. where you're going to put it. The pools are to the side, but the unit's going to be right in the road. So, some construction. Yeah, it's too bad they couldn't get it off the road, but whatever. It's like they want a total drive there. They construct. Well, same as the same as the hold down. Yeah, well, it's the same as the town. They got to put a whole concrete vault with the thing. Yeah, because that, that's a lot of defense. But I just wanted to tell you that what we're doing. And if anybody wants to see these plans, just give me a call. I'll come up and meet, meet with you or something. Okay. So, all right. Uh, that's it. Unless any new business, any other new business that we have? No. Nope. Who's on there now? Damn, how are you doing tonight? She she fell asleep. <laughs> no, oh no, sweet. I didn't fall asleep. Come on, Peter, give me a little more credit than that. You always have interesting things to add. I learned so many things. I mean, I love the idea of these movable groins. I mean, if that seems to be 
feasible. Somebody should look into a suggestion like that. You know, I, I, did, I designed a whole thing, <laughs> that, but it was, it was too much to try to get through the government, so I, I scrapped it. Well, maybe we <laughs> should try again. It sounds like a great idea. It really does. I, I mean, like, like, kind of like Legos, only a little different, but yeah, it, uh, it's interesting, and, and you know. I, I don't know who would we. Talk? I mean, it wouldn't work on the ocean, but it would definitely work around here, you know, because you got to have something you can handle, which you need about like something that's about two ton. Waiting for the uh, conic uh, estuary program to come up. They're supposed to be changing the wetlands and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. and see, mm -hmm. Maybe they have some ideas on that because that's a much larger. They, they they're more they're concerned with much more than just our little island. Our right. Little island. And you know they're monitoring the uh, South Ferry area there, so you know, it's, yeah. So maybe we'll find out from the study that the North Ferry is doing that how that roadway will go down to the ferry. You know what they're going to do with the flooding there and at the South Ferry. Right, right. But that's for another day. It's just something we have to keep mm -hmm. our eyes on. So, so like I said, we're going to have this Lopez one. The town is trying once. Let's quickly look at it. I should have. Matt, you still on? I'll uh, send him an email. That yeah, get I'm still on if you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on this Lopez project, I just got the copies. We just got them today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try to do that for the next meeting, which is October 1st, only two weeks away. Uh, I can send you an email that, you know, inform the owner that would like access to the property. Yeah, you're good. Take take this as your uh, um your official green light to go look at the property, and I'll let them know yeah. that you'll be coming out there within the next week or two weeks. Yes, because it's only yeah. two week period, so you know I would be visiting that site, and uh, depending on weather and stuff like that, when we can get out there. Yeah, so, no, absolutely. That that's yeah. not a problem at all. They'd be more than more than happy to have you guys go out there. Okay, if you could just send a memo so that Chief Reed won't get mad at me again. I go on properties. <laughs> yeah, no, not not a problem. I'll send it and I'll copy everybody on it. Thank you very much, Matt. Yep. Thank you for coming tonight. I explain yep, the property. And Pam, thank you. You're always a, a good person to have a reviewing these. And, and you know, we'd love to have you as part of the committee, but I think we have to have a full time person, unfortunately, because we, we need a full time. Even though the town has a, the 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 uh, attorney and the building in, and the engineer is not a full time resident for the town, I think this is the first time the board has had that. And uh, Lori Dowd was they eliminated the, that some years ago. The resident requirements, the resident requirements, like New York City did for many years ago for the front. It was, but then you know, got shorthanded actually. <laughs> right. Well, the employee pool was, you know. Minimum. Yeah, I know. I realize what the problem is. You know, that's the need of recreation. <laughs> Director, she doesn't know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the school teachers, you know, a lot of people don't live on the island, but they're responsible and don't expect that. So it's just something. Okay. I make a motion that uh, somebody make a motion that we adjourn. Make a motion we adjourn. Okay. Four zero. <laughs> that's right. Let's go watch that move. There you go. <laughs>